Okay guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Now I don't have the whole special fancy like Christmas intro theme. I'm going to try and film one this weekend. I've been debating if I want to do it like family style with the kids or just something by myself. I feel like it's easier when I'm by myself. But of course the kids want to be included. So today, I almost missed Vlogmas Day 1. I know if I do it tomorrow, I won't be able to get it up tomorrow so I'm gonna go ahead and film something while the kids are at tennis I don't know what it is but it's like I keep saying I want to do vlogmas every year and I never ever 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 keep up with it and I really want to try this year my best to keep up with it so I'm gonna start with something that's a little bit more comfortable with me which is um, a luxury haul that I've been meaning and literally all this stuff has been sitting right by my bedside on the floor a lot of the stuff I've purchased over the last like a couple months um, so this is not like a haul of things I bought specifically for this video or like just right now but it is um, a lot of stuff so I probably won't show everything we are gonna be doing vlog style vlogs for vlogmas but again I feel like my life is not that entertaining I work I take care of my kids so I do want to make it fun so you will get day in the life vlogs like tomorrow I have to take one of the purchases you'll see because they got canceled like literally this week so one of the purchases I have to take back I have a store pickup for another item I was supposed to show today um, I broke a nail just as I was getting the kids ready for tennis so I gotta get my nails done tomorrow that like, there's a ton of things that need to be done um, tomorrow plus like dropping off packages so like you'll come with me tomorrow for like an all-day vlog so stay tuned for that but like some days if I feel like it's a little bit repetitive or I'm just not in a mood to like vlog all day I can do like a life update this month because I know you guys will be filled in on a lot of things that have happened in the past or you know it's been a minute since I vlogged so I can do like a life update I can do a maintenance day um, different content like that like cooking video I have some good recipes that I want to share with you guys so we can do fun stuff like that type of content try on hauls and stuff like that so the whole 25 days won't just be like full day in the life vlogs but you definitely will get day in the life vlogs hopefully that makes sense i feel nervous right now talking to you guys it's so weird i do hear content all the time but when it comes to vlogging it's like i've never filmed before so let's go ahead and get into it again my three kids are at tennis daddy usually takes them to tennis so this is like a moment where i have to like do some work so while i do have inventory and um orders to fulfill and videos to edit already i'm gonna go ahead and try to get this vlog up on the channel so i can go up first thing vlogmas day one so that i don't miss out so the first thing we're gonna show today is from gucci um i did purchase these for my birthday which i have not worn yet my life is very simple so like i haven't had anywhere um to wear these even on my birthday i just kind of felt not silly, but I just felt like I didn't know if I really wanted to wear these for my birthday. So I didn't, but I definitely will. Now, I tried these on and I kind of feel like I should have sized down um, because I like my stuff to fit like tight, tight. And these kind of have a more relaxed fit on me so it's been past the 30 days and i'm not sure what gucci's um return or exchange policy is but if i'm stuck with them without being able to exchange them i probably will get them tailored um to be a little bit more of a feminine fit i don't know we'll see but these are just the gg logo um joggers from gucci i wanted these so bad throughout the entire pandemic i couldn't find them in my size and then like when i had the guts to buy them that weren't in my size and then like when they would pop up on the site in my size I would kind of like chicken out I think I did get a large um what did I get oh no I got a medium I thought I got a large but this is a medium so I'm gonna try them on I'm gonna see if I have time to try them on before the kids get back and we'll see how they fit today but I think I tried them on one time and I wasn't like in love with the fit so I am looking for a seamstress in my area to start getting my stuff fit for my body type but I also in the process of losing weight so kind of like I don't want to get stuff taken in or taken out and then have to do it again but I really love these pants these are something that have been on my like holy grail um like wish list so I'm happy to have these it's not a pant that you obviously would wear like super often but also at the same time it's a pair of pants that you will get your cost for wear because when I do my winter 
clean out or my fall clean out I do a clean out at least once each season um this is a pair of pants that will be with me forever because I just feel like it's a timeless piece next I'm gonna go into I'm gonna say the best for last Marnie now TikTok made me do it and their box is very 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 dramatic now this bag isn't in like the regular so this bag when you go on their on the Marnie website it wasn't like in the handbags section it was like in the market section or the tote section something like that and I seen it on TikTok I wish I knew her name but she had it on and she had just had like on a simple bodycon dress and she had this bag on with the um Lavin sneakers you guys know this the jumbo or chunky sneakers everybody's been wearing and it looks so good and it made me fall in love with the bag and then i seen miracle watts with that. i think those are the only two people i've seen with this bag and it just made me fall in love so i went to the website and i found it but when i found it originally they didn't have this like when you go to the um sales page for this there was one color there but then this colorway was out of stock and i kept like every now and again thinking about it and whenever I would go to the site I would try to check to see and like for a couple months I kept trying to get this colorway um and I couldn't find it or it wasn't in stock and then finally it popped up so I just immediately purchased and I am not gonna cap to you guys it has a weird like literally the weirdest smell to it again it didn't come from the handband sec the handbag section so it definitely gives in person when I send it on Instagram and on TikTok, it was a vibe. But in person, it definitely gives like you took your rug and cut it and made a tote out of it. But still, the colorway is such a vibe and I'm still here for it. I just feel like I need to Febreze it or something. And it does have the logo, the Marnie logo here. It's not double sided. So on the back, it looks like this. And it is like a shopper's tote. So essentially, it's just a deep tote, no pockets. It definitely gives like, you know, something that I would make with the girls for like home economics. But then at the same time, it does have like nice leather, if that makes any sense. The price point wasn't bad. So it wasn't like um, like investing in a handbag. The purse or the price is not here, but the colorway is sun orange. I have it. Um... Everything that I can, I will link in the description box if I can find it. And yeah, it's from Marty Market. But I don't know if I want to get the Lavin Hill or the Lavin shoes. Originally, I did want to get the Lavin um, tennis shoes to go with it because I just, I don't know why, but I just fell in love with the way that those shoes looked with this bag. And then I talked myself out of getting the bag. So that's why it's been sitting in the box. So I ordered this in like October, maybe. Um, and. I am currently on a hunt for a shoe that I love with it. Now, I mean, it's a simple bag, so I can just put it on my Uggs. I can put it on with, like, my Gucci Prince Towns. I can put it on with, with whatever. I also was thinking about getting some, um, what are they, the Hermes slides. And I wanted some in, like, a army green color. So I was thinking about that. Like, I don't know, for some reason, for this bag, I wanted a shoe that specifically went with it. But now that I'm finally unboxing it, um, I can go ahead and put it in my closet so that I can finally put it together. But I think this definitely will be a vibe with some oversized cargo pants, whether it's camo or just like a khaki green. And then some chunky tennis shoes and then a very feminine top, like a corset, um, the Wolford um what is it called bodysuit which i've been on the site trying to get the wolfer bodysuit every time i go on there it's not available in a d so this is the best thing ever i can't wait to show you this but right now i'm going to talk about bendy so i have i was supposed to have four pieces from bendy to show but i only currently have three um i'm gonna start with the thing that we all have seen and love and this is the headband i fell in love with these and i have a quite a few designer ones and i didn't have the fendi one whenever i bought my fendi headband i bought the one that's kind of like dome shaped or i don't even know what you call it but it's like a furry one and i like that one but it, i don't know if i got a big head or what but it kind of like constantly will fall for it and it doesn't sit comfortably on the head but because I chose that one over this one I never got this one but lately I've been more into this style and then this um what is it Zuka print I'm not sure what it's called I sound kind of crazy but I kind of wanted to have this one too basically so I went ahead and got it and it's just a simple headband it's not something that you have to wear with like you gotta, don't gotta be all figured out right now I just have on the Target 
leggings and a sweatshirt from like boohoo and i can just put this on with this and be good to go so finally i can go ahead and wear this because there's just something about me that feels like when i buy my pieces especially luxury pieces i gotta show you guys before i wear them so this i did get and it did of course come with the uh dust bag i did get this from the fendi website with this bag i didn't even take it uh, or open it but i think it was in a big box so it came actually in the bag like laying in the box like stuffed so it did come already like with the ribbon tied i want to start saving these because sometimes i like to put cute ribbon in the girl's hair so like collecting these they can have a collection and um cute little box i love the fact that they have that signature yellow and as you guys can see i never even opened these yet like literally what am i doing like i kind of like hate that about myself that like my husband will get something new and like literally as soon as he gets home he's like ripping the tags off and putting it on to go to the store and i'm just not like that like i savor things a little bit too much and so when you open it up it's like a dust bag or like a dust i'm not sure what you would call it covering and you open it up and it does have that fendi logo and bows i'm sorry if i'm a little bit too far away i can't even tell with all this lighting and then you open it up and it looks like this and it literally is the fendi hoops they are fancy so this is the silver one and this is the gold one. If you got a little bread, I would honestly buy these twice so that I can have the silver hoops and then the gold hoops. I'm not going to do that because I have my Louis Vuitton uh, hoops and they're all gold. So I don't need like the just two gold. I kind of love the fact that these are like mix match. You have a gold hoop and a sil silver hoop. And like with this hair that I installed today, like these would be super cute. Like to give like that little designer effect i kind of want the hoops in a smaller um the smaller ones too i think the smaller ones come in like individual colors but again i have the louis vuitton ones and then i also kind of want the christian dior hoop ones so i kind of just don't feel like it's necessary to have like multiples of this even if it's in this in the same or different size but i wanted to wear these super gaudy so hear me out i'm kind of thinking about getting another piercing in my ear i kind of i have two holes but i'm kind of thinking about getting like right here that little piece pierced or like the cartilage pierced i don't know if i'm going through like a midlife crisis i'm not old enough to go through a midlife crisis but i've been kind of wanting to do that but i've been liking how it looks when your ear looks like super gaudy and like but like with like diamond and rhinestone like good quality earrings not like cheesy stuff if that makes any sense so i bought these but i also bought these studs and i'll put them on the screen they're the fendi um logo or it's the fendi f studs and they're reasonably reasonably priced i ended up getting them i think in the silver but i made the mistake of doing store pickup which i don't know like what when i do store pickup it makes no sense because when they tell you it's ready to pick up, like I'm not in the mood to drive to the store. So they got shipped or delivered to the closest location to me last Friday. Um, and now it is Wednesday and I have yet to go and pick them up. But I want to see how it will look to wear these hoops and then in my second hole wear the stud and then obviously i would wear the stud by itself and then the hoop by itself as well but i don't know kind of like that's been my thing of like what i've been craving is like gaudy super 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 gaudy ear pieces and like no necklace to kind of like balance it out um but we'll see how it looks if it looks too gaudy obviously i'm still going to keep the fendi earrings and the fendi earrings also have like the necklaces to match and i think you've seen a lot of influencers wear them it's just the, the necklace and it's like a circle and inside it has that f and it comes in the earrings come in the silver the gold and the rose gold i got silver so i might go back in if i really like the necklace when i pick it or the earrings when i pick it up i might go back in and get the necklace to match just so that it's like a different look and a different piece the third thing i got is ready to wear these i got from the fendi website and these are just some shorts 
Um, I got these in a size 44 and I really wanted to get like a top to match, which I have yet to do because like I haven't had a reason or a place to wear these. But I just saw myself wearing these like high waisted with again like the Wolford or like a white beater or like um, you guys know we love the body suits nowadays. Not a white beater, but you know like a nice little tank top like the body suit. Something very simple with these. But I do think they might be too big, so I'll try them on and I'll show you. These I can still exchange for a smaller size. The Gucci pants I cannot. But again, this is why we don't buy ready to wear. And obviously it goes with the headband. Not quite sure if I would wear these together. I think I would wear them together for daytime. But for nighttime, I would just wear the shorts. Probably some black heels. Uh, probably a nice black top. And then I probably would do like the Fendi earrings how I told you guys. It would be nice with the necklace, but I think at night time for like a night out, this would be like too cheesy, if that makes any sense. This is a piece that like I'm learning how to buy luxury pieces and actually get my cost per wear and not feel like I can only wear them on special occasions. Buy your pieces, get them tailored to fit you, to make you really, really confident in them. And then you wear them to different things. So my first time wearing them probably would be on a special night out, going out to eat. Well, I don't really go to the club, but just something really special like a birthday, something like that. I would get my good pictures in this. And then from there, it just becomes like a capsule piece where like, oh, I'm going on a play date with the kids. I'm just going to put this on in like a hoodie or something. You know what I mean? Just getting your cost per wear without allowing a piece to look cheesy or like dang that's your only pair of shorts like you know what i mean like i love that for me another thing i got is my prized beloved van cleef i did film an entire specific unboxing i did it on tiktok and when i did it on tiktok i kind of like let my camera my camera i'm filming on roll to get content to make it in a full unboxing Again, which I never edited. I have so much footage that I've never edited because I just have to get comfortable with doing things that other than hair tutorials. But since I never showed it and I love how beautiful the box and the packaging is, this is the box. Now, this is my Van Cleef bracelet here. Again, you guys have seen the reel on Instagram and then the video on TikTok. I did get it, I did get it in the black onyx and it is the five motif. I do wear it every day paired with my Cartier Love bracelet that my husband bought me. Now this was my big flex. This was the uh, Van Cleef 5 Motif bracelet was my birthday gift to myself. And I absolutely love and adore it. I have been stocking it literally all this year. And I kept saying I wanted it and like talking myself out of it at the same exact time. But for my birthday I said you know what? Like you know like I don't have birthday parties i don't do anything lavish literally it's just usually dinner um you know and just like a day out with the family i deserve i work really hard i deserve so i got it um i was thinking about getting the necklace to go with it i'll see but as you guys can see like you see this little bracelet and this big pack packaging it literally is a show they give you this box is just the box for the case so this here is what it actually came in and it's nice like velvet they also gave you a shopping bag they gave you all the paperwork and everything you needed like that um this was inside of this box and then i think it's in my yes yeah, already in my jewelry case but they gave me like a leather or not leather a velvet the same color like little strip and it's like a travel case for it so that's already put away but like i think i'm gonna just dispose of all of the filling in here and then just hold on to this box because like i don't keep shopping bags but this box is something serious like imagine if you have four or five of these bracelets you have a collection of those now on the lines of the ready to wear i did purchase these as well and these are just the burberry pants again i haven't worn these so this is a reason why i'm excited to get back into vlogging and stuff because like i love stuff like this and like again subtle flex flex i would wear these daytime with just some like Hermes around sandals any kind of like sandals or slides I probably would not wear like my bucket hat with these pants or I kind of like I said before I like to just wear 
when it's ready to wear i don't like to make it cheesy so just a simple top is all you need to go with these um but like if i was going on like to a, like a boat party or like i was like overseas then i might wear the bucket hat because i do have the bucket hat but just something simple i think these are the least in price so they weren't that expensive um i think i actually had some rewards so i didn't even pay the full price and i think i got these in a size eight yes a us eight so kind of like capsule collection pieces like capsule burberry pants capsule fendi like zuka print shorts capsule gucci pants like that's the vibe i guess i've been on something that goes along the same lines is this two-piece set they are matching separates on the inside but this is the uh mcm i believe this is considered loungewear or pajamas um again they are matching separates on the website but they are just these really cute shorts now i kind of went back and forth if i wanted the shorts or the pants and i did choose the shorts but i think eventually i'll get the pants because again i like stuff like this just to hang out in like you don't have to always be in like black baggy sweats you can all you know what i mean or like plain stuff you can have designer stuff and mix it in and get your cost per wear wear your good stuff on a daily basis so don't save it for special occasions and i got a big booty i got some big hips so i did get a size large and then to pair it with it i did get the top they are matching separates so i can wear these with something else as well as this with something else like i think this top would be so cute with some very fitted jeans or like a very fitted legging um probably more so like a leg like these target leggings that i have on are some of my favorite i think these would be cute with this kind of open kind of cute lacy bra um not too much but you know just a little bit of a, a little cleavage some cute little heels for like a night at like a favorite restaurant super cute obviously i probably will wear it together the first time and then just split it up and wear it like however i want i'm sorry my jacket keeps like buckling and folding backwards this is probably the only regret in this purchase it came from stacks as i'm building a nice capsule stack i would love at least one more van cleef bracelet on my wrist i would also love two more cartier love bracelets or at least one and then the just include bracelet from um, cartier as well i would also love a diamond tennis bracelet so that's kind of like pieces that i'm working on more than like ready to wear and stuff like that like jewelry and so a part of my stack and what i thought would look really cute which i am thinking about moving my stack over here as it gets bigger um so that like on this hand i would just wear my um wedding ring and like my time piece and on this side i can have a stack built in it not clash and so once i transfer this to this side because i need my husband to help me switch my cardio love bracelet um, i did get this piece and i have worn it one time but because i have my wedding ring here i think it'll look better on a hand without the wedding ring um and this is again from Saks, and i it, it kind of is a regret i'm not even gonna lie the brand is zoe chico and it doesn't seem like it'll be luxury but i paid 550 dollars for this when i paid for it i had some rewards i'm not even gonna lie i think that it was like slightly discounted at the time as well so i don't think i paid like a full 550 but once i received it and it did come in a dust bag but woohoo i wanted a hand chain and so i thought because like i wash my hands so much and i'm doing so much i really wanted a good quality one that wasn't gonna break or snap or anything like that but i also um or tarnish more importantly so i thought you know i couldn't find one on like the main like jewelry companies that i would typically frequent so i figured i would go to like Saks and Neiman's and see what they had and they had this one again it's $550 I'm gonna hope and pray the stone in the middle is real but this is what it looks like I'm hoping you guys can see that it's very thin and dainty it for sure does not give $550 I need for this stone to be a diamond and I'm almost certain it's not um <laughs> so I did yeah, so I did 
thoroughly plan on returning and it looks good it's dainty enough that it's not too gaudy it's a very beautiful thing i wore it one time only so far no twice so far and i did get a compliment on it a compliment on it um but it's so thin it's so dainty it's so easy to lose that i just felt like i wasted my money so i did like keep all of the original packaging including the box is still in my um closet and i was fully planning on returning it but i think i had somewhere to go and at that day i just was like oh i'm just gonna wear it and i wore it so now it's mine um but i did purchase one i can't remember what website maybe etsy or something like that for a lot more affordable no no no. i think it was revolve i purchased one and it was like 60 bucks 70 bucks i want to say but i wear that one more often and it falls and slides around like crazy whereas this one like actually stays in place and it doesn't feel like i have something on or like it's getting on my nerves if that makes any sense so that's one of the only reasons i ended up keeping that i've done a lot of zara shopping i think i went on a break since the pandemic from zara where i didn't buy anything from there and it was because like of course with the pandemic every time you went in zara um the line was a long line outside and they weren't letting people in so i kind of just gave up on zara for a while and then when i would finally get in or order online the pieces wasn't hitting the body wasn't hitting so the pieces wasn't hitting so um i finally reintroduced myself to zara i'm definitely in the mood to get back more into my feminine side the feminine era of ashley because i feel like since becoming a mom i used to go to work and i worked in corporate america and i was like a receptionist where i represented the company like the front desk so i wore makeup i kept my hair nice i wore heels every day and then i became a mom and i haven't worn heels but probably a handful of times since so i'm kind of like at that phase where like the kids are potty trained nobody's breastfeeding pretty much everybody is out of the stroller phase like everybody can get up and walk and i don't really need to wear like a diaper bag i can throw a couple things in a, a backpack and leave it in a trunk but i don't have to necessarily like cold kids and carry kids so i'm trying to get back into my feminine era and that's part of like my journey back to vlogging is like finding me again and so i did want to pick up a couple pair of heels these i did get i want to say last month and i kind of went crazy because this is like my style of shoe originally i went on the website and i seen these and i loved these what i loved it was the fact that it did have a uh modest heel I would say this is three inches or under and I love the fact that the heel is not here because when it's here it's like the support goes like right above your arch when it's here I'm clumsy it feels like I'm going to topple over but here I kind of feel a little bit more stable and like I can last and because again I'm I haven't worn heels consistently in years I can practice with something like this before I upgrade and invest in an in a designer heel with heels my feet have grown I was a true 38 like on the baddest or heaviest day or whatever before kids but now i'm a true 39 which kind of makes me sad i hope that when i lose weight my feet shrink but this is a 39 and they do fit well and i like the fact that they don't have a strap up around it for some reason i feel like when i get a strappy heel um i'm gonna fall i don't feel stable but when it it's like a sandal with no straps for some reason to me it feels a lot more comfortable and again the heel placement matters as well but the feather detail is very much like me like very very sassy i had my eye on some from ysl it wasn't feather it was more like fur and i love those but again because i don't wear heels i didn't think it was an investment that i needed to make so at the time I went crazy and I did get them in the green. I knew that before I knew it, the holiday season would come up. So I did just grab them. I honestly should have, I only needed them in the black. But again, I'm trying to rebuild like my shoe collection with feminine energy. So I did get the green. I'm going to try and get me like a nice, this heel is like a velvet. So I would love like a bodysuit in this velvet with just some black jeans or just something super simple. Even like some like mom jeans or something like that something really cute and simple and i did get another pair so these are the other pairs of shoes i got i got all four of these in one go and i got them off the website the heel on this one is more like the black 
where it's moved over in the center, not in the center, but a little bit further down. I did get a 39 and I think it's gorgeous, very sassy. And then I got these. Everybody's in, we are in the Amina Mwadi and the Mock and Mock era with the beautiful heavy jewel and the pointed heel um again i'm not quite ready to invest in designer shoes in designer heels quite yet i would rather spend my money on bags and accessories and even ready to wear just because i don't wear heels uh at all right now but once i'm like back in that era you will see some some designer shoes coming soon but i thought this was a beautiful piece very classy very 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 much like can go with a lot of things these are my zhuzh i'm a rhinestone nude type of girl so i definitely can find different ways to wear these and so when i got those four pair of shoes i seen these and it just screamed what i actually need right now this is a shoe or a heel that i feel like is more of a daytime heel i can put these on we're out of sundress season but i can put these on with leggings to the shoes or what leggings jeans shorts whatever and it just makes sense because again the heel is not like at the very tip back here so they're comfortable and they have a nice thick padding they're honestly like a heel on training wheels so like when i go to benihana or uh the restaurants that my husband prefers this is a heel i can put on if we're going out for the day with the kids this is a heel i can probably put on and last and i'm probably the heel is like or right here is like rounded and wide so i'm definitely gonna feel stable and it's a simple sandal so i can put it on with anything like it actually looks cute with this but I can wear with anything. I can wear it. I probably will get a little bit more sassy the first time I wear these shorts. But this is like the heel, like when I want to be like a woman and not just a mom. But I also don't want to fall over and be clumsy. So I love that. Um, I got tons of other stuff from um, Zara, but I feel like I'm already at my max with this video. So I'm going to leave all that stuff out. But I did get this headpiece from there. And I love this. Again, I'm just moving back into my feminine era. My like, I'm ready for my closet to like go in there and just want to sit in there all day and just love all my pieces. So I'm trying to like not focus on spending like six, seven, eight hundred dollars on like pretty little thing in Boohoo just because I need new clothes. And instead, being more intentional with my purchases and the things that I buy. I think this might be the last thing that I show today. I have some perfumes, so I might show you a couple of those because I've definitely been perfume shopping. But these came from Dolce & Cabana, and I bought these off the strength of Rashida. Yes, Rashida from Love & Hip Hop. If I think of, like, my style person or people that I really enjoy like the way they dress on social media I can't think of everybody but I would say Rashida would be top five definitely top three I love how sporty her style is but then how classy it is but then it's also sexy uh, she gives you like a, a variety if that makes any sense but it's also very like grown woman i love how she'll do like a gucci cape but she'll also put it on with like some baggy cargo pants but then like maybe a nice sexy top underneath with some heels i just love 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 her style like if anybody i can just go and like have them style me i can shop their style her vibe and her style gives like she walks in the room and she's like the baddest or not the baddest but like her her outfit stands out and she doesn't have to be like sexed up if you will like she's probably the most comfortable in the room while being so bomb so she's one of the only people i've seen with this boot and i remembered it and i didn't know for a long time where she got it i assumed it was from like her site or like a fashion person or i don't know where i thought it was but then i finally seen that it was dolce and cabana gabbana and i fell in love these boots are a piece uh, I just seen yesterday that I think it's Manolo Blahnik times Timberland just came out with, it's a Manolo Blahnik? No, Jimmy Choo times Timberland just came out with the Manolo style Timberland boot and they're like completely studded up. A lot of companies right now have the studded by boots 
uh, and heels going. And these happen to be my personal favorite. And I think that's the era I'm in right now. Not necessarily wanting to get the piece that everybody loves per se, but the piece that I love and the piece that I'm more likely to wear. Now, if I was a heel heel girl, I probably would not want the rounded toe in the short heel, so I probably would opt for a different option. But because I'm not a heel girl and I'm kind of like more into the sportier look because I'm a mom and a wife, so I'm not looking to be a sex kitten when I go out. This is more my speed and again as i get more comfortable with like my body and like you guys are going on this weight loss journey with me and just getting better with wearing heels i can go ahead and sex it up a little bit once i get there but right now i'm just trying to be more realistic with what i can put on and walk out the house with this is her these i did get in a size 38 i want to say i got these off of either neiman or Saks. i actually seen them i peeped them i had them in my sh in my wish list and one day I went through my wish list and I see that they were discounted. So um, I can't tell you, I can't remember how much they were. I want to say they were somewhere between like two and three thousand, maybe even more. And I got them for almost half the price. So I'll leave the detail on these. I ended up finding that they did have a belt bag that matched these. And it literally just, or it looked just like this. I think I seen it recently like this week on uh, I am Alonzo Arnold and it's literally the same stones on it it's like the Gucci bum or the Louis Vuitton bum bag but instead it's silver with the stones just like this that retails for four thousand I'm not sure if that ever went on sale or whatever the case may be I was just so starstruck to have these and again I would wear these in so many different ways I would wear these with simple stuff baggy stuff sexy stuff I would just wear these in every way this is a staple capsule piece for me personally because I grew up in an era with my mom where being raised in the 90s she would go to Michael's or we would go to Michael's and she would get the Swarovski crystals and we would have the 40% off coupons and she would have me send in the line my brother send in the line and then she would send in the line and do three different transactions to get three packs of crystals and literally everything I had she Swarovski crystal to death so stuff like this is just me like this is stuff that I love right if it's rhinestone and it's blinged out I love it so I did see um, a bunch of uh, influencers with this bag off of Amazon so I was influenced now it doesn't match perfectly but just for like a jeans and a white t-shirt vibe something simple this is definitely a bag I would use wearing these bag wearing these shoes and they're so gaudy I definitely would not just put these on and like put on like my never full or put this on and just put on a Louis Vuitton bag I definitely feel like the, the accessories have to accessorize so I do feel like if you're a belt girl go with a silver belt and it doesn't it doesn't have to be rhinestone or um crystal or whatever the case may be but just a simple like if you could find like the DG logo belt like in black or like silver with a silver buckle that would be cute or just a plain simple no name again this is a high low situation because this purse here came from amazon and it is a dupe i think it's an alexander wang dupe we have the coke gaia has a beautiful crystal bags which i was thinking about and again this doesn't go perfect but tonight my husband said let's go to javier's i put on some jeans white bodysuit these boots this Boom. Makeup gonna be fly. Hair gonna be fly. Might even find a pair of shades that might complement. Not rhinestone, but maybe silver. Who knows? But this is a vibe. So I love that. It's not perfect. So like in real life, I might end up finding something else. Like maybe just a silver bag instead of this bag. But we'll see how it looks when I, or how I feel when it's time to wear it. But this is definitely my. Oh, this is definitely my favorite piece that I purchased okay last thing on the um luxury haul that I'm okay so the last thing I'm going to share in the luxury haul and I'm sorry if the camera is a little bit tilted but we're just going to rock with it this is a return that I was so excited to finally get and now I have to return it we already know Balenciaga got canceled um recently so I did buy the Balenciaga Croc boots I fell in love when I see these because I'm still in my big old 34 age, years of life. I still love pink so much. So I seen some of the shoppers and, you know, people who work at like Neiman, the Neiman girls and stuff like that. 
uh, Bahar, I think was one of the first people I've seen with this boot. And I love her page because she models the products and she makes everything look good. So she had these on with like a jumper or like a bodysuit probably naked wardrobe and then she even had the the bag from Balenciaga that matches this and again she makes everything look so good I already won these but the pink was like the bomb so I was waiting till they came back in stock I didn't feel the need to like go and get them from like a reseller or anything like that and I don't think she marks a person I think she just represents Neiman if I'm not mistaken but every time I went to her page and it was available it was sold out by the time like I clicked so finally, I just kept going back. I think I had to notify me when they are available. And one night, it was just randomly got the email, and I immediately purchased. Um, but they are ha happily going back because uh, I don't support any of the craziness going on. I don't even want to talk about it, to be honest. But I also equally, um, again, I wanted these for a while. So I made the purchase on November 2nd. Um, and tomorrow is October 1st? No, tomorrow tomorrow is December 1st. Y'all, I'm really losing my mind. I got a million things going on. So I literally think I have two days to return before they're mine. But because they're canceled, I wouldn't dare put this shoe on my foot. So I'm definitely going to turn. And I do have a Balenciaga City bag in the pink. If you follow me on social media, then you've seen me wear it before. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and load these into my truck. There's a Balenciaga, uh, in enough, good enough distance from me that I'm able to return these tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to, you're going to go with me tomorrow to return these in the same mall is where I'm going to pick up the Fendi earrings that are, I did for store pickup. I also want to size the Cartier Love ring. That is probably what I might be getting myself for Christmas this year. We'll see. But, um... Yeah, these babies are going back. I do not support or condone. That is another thing I had on my wish list was the Balenciaga beanie. The black one with the Balenciaga words are writing all over it. None of that is happening. I love their dad hat and that's not happening either. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'm going to try and put as much of this stuff away as possible because my husband knows that like this stack of craziness has been right here for a minute. And now that I have unboxed it and purged, I can go ahead and put this stuff into my closet. I think you guys are going to do a closet clean out with me as well. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you what my closet is looking like right now but I'm at the phase in life where I need to purge like 60% of my closet and start fresh like the whole like go and she in go on pretty little thing or boot who are fashion over and just spend five six hundred dollars with 30% discount is not working anymore like let's get nice solid grown-up pieces and if you mix those pieces in get basically shop with intention so I'm gonna go on this journey with you guys Thank you guys so much for rocking with your girl tonight. Tomorrow I will definitely have different hair because this is Vlogmas. I feel like I can be a little bit more conversational with you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Smoochist.